Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a, a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. A weekly tarot reading, October 28th to uh, November 3rd, uh, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Sagittarius, that is to be the Page of Pentacles, followed by, the, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be the Two of Wands. Then the third card here stands as a positive aspect of your week, that is going to be the uh, Queen of Wands. And the last one which is the guidance that Saru is offering to you, that will be the Seven of, uh, the seven of Cups. So, uh, as the page stands of your topic, it does look like the topic is going to be, uh, is going to revolve around this uh, person here, um, the page, and it is catalyzed by the Two of Swords, which um, this combination here stands as a passive, uh, passive enemies, and it does look like that we do have someone who really demands a certain answer from you, um, someone who already give you an, an idea that they are interested in you in one way or another, either business or relationship-wise. Now, if it is about relationship-wise, that probably it is someone that uh, up until this moment have been a friend of yours, and now they have expressing that they do have a more than just a, a friendship, and they kind of like are, are a, expecting an answer and are becoming very hectic and nervous, I would say, that you are not giving them the answer, any kind of answer that is, all right? So it's kind of like you are placing them into a certain limbo to a point of that this person, the Page of Pentacles, may start, may start doubting that actually their invest, investment as time or money in you, it's, um, it's, it's worth it, okay? Uh, usually that page, it is youthful in spirit, I'm not saying in age, but in spirit, and they are very methodical and slow in performance, that is. So probably they have played around trying to make you understand, you know, how they stand and what they want from you for quite a while now, and they think that they have done everything they could in order to do so, and now everything, it is in your field, it is at your turf, and it is... Um, it falls to you simply to do the final steps so you can meet in in the center, I would say. And that page does not understand what takes you so long, why you are postponing that decision of yours to say either you want to participate into what they are offering or you don't want to participate into what they are offering. 
So uh, what they don't see here is the challenge that you need to face and that is going to be the two of wands uh, accompanied with the ace of swords and that is uh, the uh, severe doubt that this thing actually is going to work out taking for example a friend that wants to be in a relationship with you maybe you're not finding that friend a, a very good match for yourself maybe you're not finding them as a, a potential suitor and so on and so forth the whole challenge here it is the lack of um how can i say it? the lack of perspective and the lack of vision that thing actually can present it can produce a something good it can produce a something that it is worth fighting for that it is worth living for that it is worth chasing and uh, these two cards are um kind of like uh, giving a um uh, the challenge itself is to be to change your mind all right i don't know how to describe it but the sagittarius say it that way you have already assessed the situation you have already pretty much knows uh what uh, what you want for yourself for your business you know for your relationship let's say it that way and it doesn't look like that this page has to offer to you everything that you do want maybe there are some sort of an overlapping into certain aspect, aspects of what they are offering, but not everything that you are willing, that, that, that you want. And here, all comes to that, all falls to that. Are you willing to compromise with your criteria? Are you willing to actually give it a go and see what happens at the end? Are you willing to risk and waste, to risk of wasting time uh, with the page once you start cooperating with them either regarding career or either regarding relationship so that's the challenge your it's not even determination but your glance is looking in a different direction than the page and some of you uh, for some of you that direction may be so different that you may not even acknowledge that the page is trying to make a, a certain point so on the positive end here we do have the queen of wands and it's going to be catalyzed with the tree of uh, swords so we do have a, a person another one but this one it's it comes more as a counselor than anything else so that queen this uh, this person here encourages you or it's making an example of it's uh, it's the right uh, thing to be said that uh, you should go by with um, with your guts. It's not even with your gut, but more like a. Uh, we should go by with those kind of enterprises, future enterprises that are to make you happy. No compromise whatsoever. You know, I mean, you pretty much have the perspective upon your personal human nature you do have the perspective upon the future situations as well and just because you know your um, your strive or your drive does not fit with the expectations of someone else in this particular case the page of pentacles doesn't mean that you have to do whatever you can to satisfy the page of pentacles but instead you need to satisfy yourself that being said however it doesn't mean that you cannot make certain arrangements right with the page maybe you don't have to make that cooperation so deep as the page wants but you can do it so you both can kind of at the end of the day benefit from it in a certain way for example instead of being just friends you can go for a friends of benefits until you know you find a better suitor for either of, uh, of for either of you and so on and so forth or maybe you don't want to go into a, a deep um into a, a deep business with the page but yet again you can do a cooperation upon a certain projects that can yield some monetary success so here the queen is going to um encourage you and give you an, an example while it is a according to our common standards these days while it is not a good thing you know to take advantage of the emotional attraction or the emotional predisposition of someone you can that someone can serve a a certain purpose in your life okay a certain purpose to make your life easier or to for example to to 
kind of help you to produce certain results for yourself, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And uh, the queen is going to make an example of and is going to encourage you to make use of the page of pentacles. And once again, this isn't something like a betrayal. You both are going to have what to gain from it, okay? It's just the gains are not gonna be as big as the page wants. And at the end of the day, not always we can have what we want. And sometimes we have to take what we can get, right? So this is what you can, you can be honest here and confront the page and, you know, say, okay, so this is what I can offer. You either take it or you leave it. And that's that. So finally, what we do have here, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering, and that is to be the Seven of Cups accompanied with the uh, Five of uh, Pens, with Five of Wands, excuse me. So this combo here, it is a, a passive enemies that we do have, and it does express this to the um, felicious expectations that one can have, although being grounded by a certain disappointments and above everything else, by a certain turnarounds that are happening into one situations. So that being said, this guidance here shows us that the page, even the page does not have their high standards on the plaza. To give you an example, if the page says, for example, that they love you, they don't know that, they think that they love you, but maybe two months from now they're gonna love someone else so that's why it is important to take it easy with this uh, with this page of pentacles that is to try to give you a hint that they do want a, a certain cooperation with you for business as well that is it doesn't really matter but it is important to know that whatever fantasies are emerging in between you two in between you and the page the queen of wands is going to try to this other person that is a third party that appears in between you two is going to try to breed sense in you not to keep your hopes high because things can happen shits can happen you know uh, a turnarounds can happen and they are to happen and they are to surprise you both which is going to put a differences into both vision yours and the page and for that reason until those differences have not been um kind of identified and sorted out you should restrain yourself from making a huge commitment in regards to the page of pentacles so that being said sagittarius this was your weekly tarot reading october 28 to a november 3rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye